Praise the Lord, everybody. Pastor Nick here, and um, just coming through with a series of videos about managing the holidays. And one of the most challenging things for uh, many people during the holidays is managing grief during this time. It's understanding that uh, holidays, while celebratory, can also bring back memories, but also the awareness of the absence of an individual. Um, for some of us, a holiday was good because that individual was there. But as you go to family gatherings, you feel the weight of the absence of that person's presence. And I want you to know that grief, uh, grief at this particular season, we have to try our best not to avoid or to try to go into a corner or try to act like it's not happening but to be the ability to grieve, but yet still be able to get out and live. I can confess for myself, Thanksgiving uh, used to be one of my favorite holidays because we would go down south, see my grandparents, go uh, to another state with my cousin, and we would all get together there. But ever since my grandfather passed away, Thanksgiving doesn't have the same meaning like it used to. But I decide I can't just sit home on Thanksgiving, but I have still be able to get around the rest of my family who are alive and spend as much time with them as possible. What am I trying to tell you? Grief, if you're not careful, can make you go into a shell, into a cocoon. But this holiday, I want you to choose to live, choose to enjoy it. I'm not saying deny your grief. I'm not saying don't act like it's there. Learn to grieve, but also learn to live at the same time and make the most of your family time but those family members that are still with us, laugh, enjoy, have a good time. It is a choice. Don't allow, your, don't allow grief to overwhelm you to the point where you succumb to it. Learn, learn, learn to recognize that the person's seat may be empty, but we can celebrate their life and celebrate each other. Talk to God about it. Talk to somebody about it. Lift each other up. It's challenging for a lot of people. But in all of this, God is still good. Don't let people tell you your feelings don't matter. Your feelings matter, but I cannot allow my feelings to control me. So we just want to tell you, enjoy this time. Learn to grieve and celebrate at the same time because the beauty of life is that in my grief, I find beauty. God is with you. God is for you. And all will be well. God bless you.